Assalamualaikum. My name is Nona Zatul Ashikin binti Rashdi. I'm from AS 391C. So, I'm gonna present about intraspecific competition. Intraspecific competition is an interaction in population ecology whereby individuals of the same species compete for a limited resource. It occurs between members of the same species in ecosystem who requires the same resource such as reproduction, food, meat, space, and water. Intraspecific competition may lead to extinction. Why? Because an increase in population size reduces the quantity of resource available for each individual, then the population growth becomes slower. As a result, species less adapted to environment may get fewer of the resource and are less likely to survive. First example, a group of zebra compete for food and water in the same area. It is a basic factor in natural selection, which leads to better adaptation within a species. Next, larger dominant grizzly bear occupying the best fish spot on a river during the salmon spawning season. Plants compete for light, air, water, nutrients, and space to grow. In transpecific competition in plants, colors change to the root system, shoots, leaf, and flower. Plants using chemical compounds to discourage competitors, even those from the same species, and preventing them from growing too close. Next, buckwheat. The scientific name is Phagopyrum esculentum. The plants were deposited and left to dry air. Then, the wick of the root and shoots were determined. The most heaviest plant showed it grows in larger size and healthier compared to the others. Another example for intraspecific competition is barnacle competing for space on rock, from which they filter water to obtain their food. Role of intraspecific competition. There are two crafts. The left one is exponential growth, and the right one is logistic growth. When resources are unlimited, population exhibit exponential growth, shown in a J-shaped curve. When resources are limited, population exhibit logistic growth. In logistic growth, population growth decreases as resources become such, and it decreases as environmentally sustainability is achieved. The logistic growth curve is S-shaped. In transpacific competition, may not affect populations that are well below their current capacity, as resources are plentiful and all individuals can obtain what they need. Carrying capacity is the amount of organism within a region that the environment can support sustainably. However, as the size of population increases, this competition increases. In addition, the collection of waste products can reduce carrying capacity in the environment. Intraspecific competition can be divided into two direct interaction and indirect interaction. For indirect interaction, it can be seen between juvenile wolf spiders where density in both spider increases and reduces the available food supply lower the growth of individual spiders. Food is limiting factor for the wolf spiders, but there is no direct competition between juveniles for food, just a reduction in fitness due to the increased population density. The negative density dependence in young wolf spiders is evident, as the population density increases further, grow rates continues to fall and could potentially reach zero, as predicted by the logistic growth model. This is also can be seen in viviparous lizard, or its scientific name, Placerta vivipara, where the existence of color mobs within a population depends on the density and the intraspecific competition. Next, for direct interaction, 
including animals claiming the territory which they excludes other animals from entering the area. For example, different populations of the northern slimy salamander have evolved varying levels of aggression depending on the intensity of intraspecific competition. In situations where food are limited, more aggressive salamanders are more likely to obtain the resources they require to reproduce. It is a more effective strategy to fight rivals within the species harder instead of looking for other options due to lack of available food. In conclusion, intraspecific competition is a common interaction and the stronger individuals of the same species in ecosystem will claim the larger share of resources. Increased intraspecific competition can lead to increased or decreased among individual diet variation. Several research show there is positive relationship between intraspecific competition and among the individual diet variation. Reduce in resource abundance lead to increased amount individual diet variation. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Bye.